So this is a special type of questions. I'll share more of these type of questions to you, a worksheet separately. The, some of the important things in this question is find the largest number which divides. This word divides is very important. So if it is divides or divisible by, these are two very, very different things. We want a number, okay? We want a number, let this number be x, okay? Let this number be x. Question is saying divides. Now tell me, how, how we should write in case of divides? 70 upon x? Or x upon 70. Uh, find the largest number which divide. Uh, divide. 70 upon x. Very good. Because x is dividing 70. Yes. Sure. Okay. So this is x divides 70. Isn't it? Yes. And over here, x is, is divisible. Divisible by 70. Please try to understand this thing. I'm going to erase this thing. You can copy it for yourself. Or I'll just yeah. uh, shift it to the right hand side. Okay. So these, this information is very, very important. So basically, over here in the first case, in the first case, the number is below the 70. So the hint is that the x should be smaller than 70. Yes. Then only it will be able to divide completely now. Otherwise, yes, yes. it will go into decimal or it will be an improper fraction that we are not talking about. Okay. So when we are talking about yes. x should be smaller, that gives me a hint that it should be HCF. Clear? Yes. Because HCF is yeah. always smaller than the numbers. Or maximum yes. equals to the number. Make sense? Yes. Now, yes. in this second case, in the second case, x is in the top, which means that x is greater than 70 or maximum equals to minimum equals to 70. Yes or no? Yeah. Which means that we are going to find LCM. LCM. Okay. So, in case of divisible by, we are going to calculate LCM. In case of divides, we are going to find LCM. But please do not rectify this thing. Always think logically the way I have done it. If you forget, okay. just do this thing for yourself. That will be easy for you to remember. Okay. Okay, yes. now coming back to this thing. So what do we need to calculate in this case, in this question? In this particular question, what are we? Find the largest number of divides. Yeah. What are we going Find to do? We're going to calculate the HCF of this thing. HCF, yeah. Okay, now interesting thing is, when we are dividing 70 by X, the remainder should be five. And when we are dividing 125 by X, the remainder should be eight. Eight. Okay, yes or no? Yes. So if we are able to find HCF of these two numbers, that means the remainder will be zero, no? In that case. Yes. So, but I want remainder as of now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract this five and eight from the respective numbers and find HCF of that. Is that thing clear? Okay. Yes. But why? Why should I subtract 70 minus 565 and uh, 125 because, minus eight? Because, uh, like, uh, wait, 70 has five, uh, five more numbers. Okay. See, the question is, uh, we have to find a number which will leave remainder, okay? Which yeah, will remainder. Leave remainder. It has five more numbers. Yes. So, but we can only find HCF if there is no remainder. Like HCF is always give, will always give you remainder zero. Hmm. Yes or no? HCF will give me a remainder yes. as yes. zero. So basically I need to subtract, I have to subtract this five. I have to get rid of this five, yes or no? Yes. So similarly, I will get rid of this five from this 70. Understood? So what is the HCF of 65 and 117? How do we do this thing? Uh, firstly, we have to do the time factorization of 65 and 170. Then we have to find so the can do it directly. 65 and 117. So 117 is divisible by 3. That means 39. Okay. And uh, again, 9, 13. So I guess 65 is also divisible by 13. Yes. 13. It will give me 5. It will give me 9. So no, no else number is common. So HCF of 65 and 117 is... Okay. Okay. Now let us test whether we are doing it correct or not. Now, if I divide 70 by 13, what will I get? I will get 65, isn't it? Yes. And I'm getting a remainder 5. Clear? Yes. And another number, let us test 125 divided by 13. I will get 9 over here. And I will be getting 9 into 13 will give me 117. Okay. So, okay. remainder is it. So, hence verified also. Okay. Is the logic clear? So there are four types of yes. questions like this. There are four types of questions like this. This is the first type. Okay. This is type number one. Okay. So uh, other type, I will share it with you one question. Uh, one, what do I say? Worksheet. Okay. Through that, think okay. about it. Okay. And then we will discuss. Okay.